you know, it's a big question I get all the time. How do I like to RV? Well, I'm gonna show you and explain. Are you ready? Let's do this. Hey everybody, David, AKA RV Jedi, and I am going to share with you today something that I get asked about a lot, and that is how I like to RV. Now, back in 2016, when I first got into RVing, it was kind of late in the summer. Uh, I had a, a Winnebago Itasca Spirit, and it was about 24, 25 feet long. Uh, and I just went out as much as I could uh, for the remainder of the year. Now, I lived in Florida at the time, so I could RV very, very late, and I didn't have to store the RV. Uh, but I just went out and tried to get to as many different places as possible. can hear a little bit of the river um, a boat just went by if you ever get a chance to come to the Oclockney River State Park I think you'll really enjoy it there are a ton of these signs for alligators I've never seen an alligator out uh, when I've been hiking but who knows maybe I'll find one this time Checking out St. George Island State Park in Florida. Now at the end of the year, only six months into it, yep, I ended up selling my RV and trading it up to this, my 2005 Winnebago Sightseer. Now, I knew I wanted to do a full renovation on this, so it was gonna be delayed before I could get out again in it. Uh, and about February of uh, 2017, uh, I really started to do the renovations on the whole rig. And it took pretty much uh, into the summer, again, uh, waiting to get out and, and really start to RV and explore again. But once, the RV was renovated, um, I, I got out again. Now, initially in 2016, when I first got into it, my, my goal was every two weeks, or at least twice a month, I was gonna get out and do something. In 2017, after the rig uh, got renovated, um, I, I, I did that.
I, I tried to go out every two weeks if I could. Uh, and then I started a tradition around my birthday in September, uh, trying to go out for a longer trip. You know, I tried to go maybe a week or, or 10 days if I could. And during that, I would stop at two to three different locations to keep trying to explore and do new things in the RV. So that was the plan back in 2017. In 2018, um, it was pretty much the same. A lot of uh, what I did in 2017, but because I had a full year of doing it, I got to get to some more places. Uh, and I think I took about two or three kind of extended trips then. In 2019, I ended up selling my house and changing my job. Uh, and I actually lived in the RV for a while. Uh, I had a series called Semi Full Time. talk about some numbers and go over what it actually cost me to RV on a regular basis. What I did this month is I took a look at a full month uh, out on the road for me and that is September uh, and I broke down all of the numbers and kind of grouped them to come up with what I was spending for the month. Hey everybody, David aka RV Jedi and welcome to Semi Full Time, the story of how I lost my job, uh, sold my house, uh, had to search for a new job and uh, moved into my RV living full time or at least semi full time uh, until uh, another opportunity comes down the road. And there, that's uh, when I took you through selling my house. But while I was doing that, I was living in the RV. So it was a chance to get a sense of what it might be like uh, to live full time in an RV. And it was outstanding. Uh, but the RVing was very different there uh, because, you know, I was going out two, three weeks at a time. I'd come back, uh, check on the house, do some things around town real quick, and then go back out for another long trip. Uh, and it was uh, more about just kind of living in the RV. So that was a whole different kind of experience for me. Let's face it, the real reason you come to a park like this, that, the water. The springs are absolutely fantastic and one of the best parts of being at this park. At the end of 2019, I landed a job in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So I stored my RV uh, and then I didn't see it until what, I think June of 2020. Oh, and that was of course the pandemic. So I, I was able to go back down to Florida, pick up my RV, bring it back. And then I, I started to explore Wisconsin. Again, trying to get out as much as I could, not quite every two weeks, uh, they ended up maybe being, uh, you know, once every six weeks or so. Uh, and I tried to do three and four day trips. And that's how I kind of got around and started to explore uh, the Wisconsin area. In 2021, I started off early. I was very excited. Uh, I did everything that I could to get ready. And then, uh, of course, my roof blew off. So I, uh, I take you through all the good and the bad, and uh, this is certainly a bad. Uh, the roof covering on the RV is um, basically falling apart. Uh, I was able to get to the park. So that kind of changed how I RV'd altogether and changed it into car camping. I car camped for a couple of months. I, I actually really enjoyed it. And I think I may try it again sometime uh, because it's a nice little quick getaway. And then my RV got fixed. So I got the call, the roof is done, going to check it, going to put it into the storage unit and then get back to work. But this, uh, I've seen the pictures so far, it looks great. I can't believe we're almost done.
I was able to go back out RVing. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't been able to do really long trips uh, and for my birthday in September, I didn't even get to do a, a long trip at all. But one of the things I have done is gotten used to going out uh, kind of quick, fast and in a hurry, you know, leaving uh, early on a, on a Friday and then coming back on a Sunday or maybe even taking a Friday off, uh, leaving on a Thursday uh, and then coming back. One of the reasons I really like to do longer trips is because I um, get to do more, get to go explore places and, you know, you, you get to stay for a while which is really important uh, to you know explore parks or things like that because mostly when I go out I go to state parks or uh, county parks. I like to chill out and unplug and really just relax while I'm out there but on a quick trip pun intended if you know you know Wisconsin um, you know it's still fun because I get to go out and I get away but I don't have a buffer day on the back end. I'm big on buffer days. I, I like to have a day in between once I come back from an RV trip to just uh, wash everything, just kind of chill, get back into the, the rhythm of the day. But uh, when you're doing really short trips, uh, you know, you're leaving on a Thursday, you leave it on a Friday, and then you're coming back on Sunday, that buffer day uh, gets trimmed a lot. Still, it is uh, something that I try to do as much as I can and get out there. This time around in 2021, I think for the most part, I've been able to go out, uh, you know, at least once every other month uh, and sometimes for three, four days. No, didn't do a four day this year. So just, uh, I think about a three day is the longest that I have, but I still have thoroughly enjoyed everything that comes with RVing and I cannot wait until 2022. So that's gonna do it right now for me. I hope you like the information that I shared with you about how I like to RV. Make sure you follow me all over social media at RV Jedi. And then of course you can follow me on the blog at rvjedi.com. Get out there, RV, whether it's long trips, whether it's full time, whether it's just a short overnight trip, just go out, enjoy and have a blast. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.